Okay. What we can also do with this then um, is I can go window. I can go. Uh, I can. I can then use this animation on a timeline. Okay. And this is where things get quite powerful. Okay. So I'm going to go uh, windows. Uh, animation editor, timeline editor. Okay, it's just opened in the other window, but it's here. Okay, if I just click somewhere, anywhere in this control system, just go click like this. It, it, if I just click on a blank space, it selects all the joints. Okay, so I select all the joints of the character, and I go add. So once, so so yeah, with all these, so click on here, to select all the joints of the character, and then with those selected, I can go add selected content from scene. I click on that, and what's happened is it's created an animation clip now based on this data, okay, on this motion data, okay? And what that means is, is I can actually control that motion just like, like a video clip in, a, in, a, in an editing timeline, okay? I can literally just control that motion and work with it uh, uh, within, a, within a wider timeline, okay? And this is a really kind of powerful, reusable way of working with animation. So, for example, let's imagine, uh, and I can actually, I can squash this, in terms of time, I can chop off the ends, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, I'll let you. There's other tutorials that explore this timeline editor in a bit more detail. But what I want to demonstrate here then is, let's imagine I want to just take out a little bit of this motion. So I want to take out the punch bit of this motion here. Okay, so let's take say this bit of the motion here, and I want it kind of. Let's have a look. I want to go to this sort of point here. Great. Okay. So let's imagine I've got that and that's my animation clip. Okay. What I can then do is I can literally, I can just go and take this animation clip and I can go control C. Okay. Control V to copy and paste it. If I put these on the same timeline, I can actually merge these motions together and you'll see that I'm just going to try and move this character so you can see it a little bit more clearly. You'll see this just merged these punch motions together for me fairly seamlessly. Pretty work, pretty good job. It's just merged those together. And you could do this process with walk cycles and run cycles. I mean, with a walk cycle and a run cycle, you've got to be a little bit more careful about exactly where you're doing the merge, otherwise you'll get funny results. And um, you know, you want to merge, you know, you want to line up um, uh, you want to line up the clips where uh, um, so so that the, the, the feet positions are the same. Uh, and then and then merge them on that basis uh, rather than just randomly merge them. But you can obviously take a run cycle or a walk cycle and just extend that as much as you want. So I can cut bits out of this motion now and reuse it out as w at will inside of this timeline. Great. Okay. What I may also want to do. Oh, I've just twirled this down. So I don't. Obviously, you can twirl this down. Uh, uh, and see more of the uh, animation if you want to. What I want to do is I'm just going to delete this clip here. What I want to do is um, save this clip as an animation clip that I can just reuse in another scene with this character. Okay, so it may be that I just bring this in and I just cut out my bits of animation and then I reassemble them in another scene. And that's a, a, a fair enough kind of approach to take. So I can select this. I can go File export selected. So remember, this animation has now been retargeted and specifically baked onto this character now. OK, so I can go export selected. OK, um, I can hang on. Let's try that again. File. Uh, uh, yeah, export selected. OK, I want to select it as a, an I want to I'm going, to, I'm going to do it as an FBX because that's what I like to do. And I'm going to say save thumbnail so I can actually create a thumbnail now. And notice how it's putting it inside of uh, the timeline editor clip exports folder of my Maya project. So this is the Maya project that I'm working on. It's putting it into this folder here okay, uh, of, my, my, of my Maya project. So I can create a load of clips here that I could use for my project. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I want to capture a thumbnail. So if I click on capture thumbnail, what I can do is say, actually, I want to capture a play blast. And what it's going to do is it's going to capture this area here to create a preview of that animation for me. OK, um, and this will be really useful for when I'm trying to assemble all my clips together. I've got lots of clips and I want to organize them and I want to know what each clip does. This is kind of quite handy. OK, and a really way, nice way of delivering animation clips to your animator. OK, so. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go. Um, uh, yeah, I'm going to go. Uh, 
Uh, I want to go capture, but before I do that, I'm just going to go into my show bit here and just tell it I don't want to show the joints and I don't want to show IK handles. Uh, so I want to turn all that off. Uh, I just want to make sure that... Um, so I'm just going to put that to the side here. Just make sure that that's a good view for our character here. Okay. Great. Might need to move my camera away a little bit. There we go. So that kind of gets... Here we go. That's great. So the whole motion kind of fits into that camera view. Brilliant. So now I've got Play Blast on there. I'll just go Capture. And what it's going to do is it's going to quickly go through and generate a Play Blast of that motion for me. Great. OK. And you'll see it's created this kind of thumbnail that I can use to kind of preview the motion now when I load it in. OK. So if I go Save. OK. It's going to go back to here. I'm going to give it a name. So I'll just call it uh, Punch. I'm going to go export. And you'll see it's just exported that pro uh, that clip for me. OK, now I'm just going to go file new scene. Um, so I'm going to go uh, don't save. So I'm just going to create a brand new scene now just to demonstrate how to bring this clip in. OK, uh, I'm just going to go uh, open scene, open our blue dude character. So here's our blue dude. Uh, we'll go don't save here's our blue dude character let's open up our sorry our character here and literally what I'm going to do then is I'm just going to go uh, file uh, import animation clip okay in fact if I go to um, open content browser OK, what you'll see here is here's the punch clip and you can see it's showing me a preview of the punch clip. So it's allowing me to very quickly see what that animation is. OK, and so you can imagine if I had a whole load of these, it makes it much easier for me to see what's what. So I can click on that. OK, and go, yeah, I want to I want to I want to bring that in. Um, and in fact, what I might do is I think, uh, yeah, I'm just going to bring that onto my timeline here. Uh, I think it's getting confused because, um, yeah, let's just try that again. Uh, so I'm going to go timeline. Let's just, okay. It's getting confused because I haven't actually told, give, created a um, animation track. Okay. So what, what I want to do is, um, yeah, is uh, with my blue dude selected, uh, and actually it hasn't even got a control rig to apply this animation to. So, uh, if I go uh, control rig, so I want to create to create a control rig for my blue dude, and then just go and select the whole control rig, and just go add selected content to scene. You'll see it'll create a clip with basically nothing in it. If I just delete that clip now, and then do the same process, what that's done though is it's created a track that's connected with uh, that's got uh, that's connected or a track with all these joints uh, inside it. OK, so now I can just go file, uh, content browser. Uh, I want to just go back to the uh, timeline editor and clips here. Let's go there. And I should just be able to drag this straight onto my timeline. Let's have a look. Yeah, I just go apply and close. Great. And you can see I can just drag this straight onto my timeline. I just need to kind of... Um, move this timeline around just using the alt key pressing the alt key there we go and you can see that i've just brought that motion back into my timeline okay great and i could just bring all these motions in and assemble them onto my character as i want okay so that's kind of a look at how to work with motion capture data inside of maya uh, i hope you found that useful